Hey guys. Hey guys. So today's a different vlog. It's a very special vlog because we haven't updated you, but Fabio today is getting his permanent residence here in Canada. It's Hope called PR. Or hopefully. At hopefully. I have the interview and they'll decide on the spot whether yes. we get it or not. I hope so. So we didn't really tell you guys what happened in the vlogs. All the way back to September last year, we applied to sponsor Fabio. So I applied to sponsor Fabio. I'm the sponsor, he is the principal applicant, to come to Canada to get his PR. It's easier that way. He can't really apply for jobs and like all this and all that, you know, Canadian documentation. Mm -hmm. So it was a long process. They asked for 20 pictures to prove that we're in a relationship. They ask all the documents that we live in the same place because we're common law. Yeah. Honestly, they ask for everything, everything, even how many times I go to the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> it's insane. Like they ask I know. for so many proof. Which I, I understand because they want to bring in just good people, right? I guess, yeah. So today they contacted us for an interview. So that's what we're going to go today. We thought we we're going to vlog this in case somebody out there who's doing this as well, who's if you're trying to sponsor a loved one to come to Canada and if you're already in Canada or if you're thinking of going to Canada, we're going to tell you the whole process on the way there. Yeah, honestly, I became such an expert because yes. I applied <laughs> for four different visas right now. Honestly. So I can really give you good tips. Yes, yeah, so if you guys have questions, please comment down below. We will try to answer all of them about applications to Canada and how to do a migrate, how to migrate to Canada. Right now, we have to go. We're going to take you with us and we're going to show you the process. I don't know if you can do uh, record the interview but oh, that we can. Yeah. so this is my outfit for today so like I said September last year we started applying for this and they required a lot of things they want paperwork to prove that we're common law first of all because the stream that we did is we are common law and I can sponsor him because we're common law the tricky part about this process is that when I first came here I was with a visitor visa and then the company where I work for uh, sponsored me for a work visa but the tricky part about that is that I could only work for them so if I ever wanted to change my job I could he not can. do that and if I ever wanted to quit I had to go back to Italy yes so that is not really fair because so it's to not us, freedom to us the only option is to either sponsor him to get his PR here or apply for open work permit, which we all already did, but might as well go miles and yes. apply for PR. So the documents that are required are proofs of living together address, uh, bank account, bank together. account together, joint bank account. So those are the things that you need if you're trying to sponsor your common law partner. They want a proof that you've been living together. So bank account, bills, bills rent. together, rent, and they also ask 20 questions to prove our relationship yes. together. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So after compiling all the paperwork and the requirements for this, like the 20 pictures of us together and the uh, receipts and bills, letters from friends, letters from friends, references, yeah. proof, we just check out the website, it's all there. So after getting all that, we sent it to them and we waited for like two months and they got back to us and they said that it's not enough. So we need to yeah. provide more. So this time they want to see pictures of us together with family because you could just easily mock up your pictures together, right? Yeah. So they want to see pictures of us together with families, friends, all like camping or yeah. whatever. Saying the names of each friend yes. that was in the picture yes. and what was the occasion. Yes, so we sent it to them and finally I got a call and she just wanted to confirm our relationship is right. in my taxes I put like we're married I don't know why we put I put we're married you're working I I'm stupid and then in our application it's common law so it was scary so after the phone call it was all confirmed that we're just common law that was been settled we finally got an email days later saying that we have been invited to an interview by the way when you want to apply you have to pay a fee which is insane expensive it's 500 dollars fee plus no how much how much was the beginning the, the beginning one. was uh i think 1500 dollars yes 1500 dollars plus another 500 dollars tax just for them to print yes your it's crazy application i don't even understand why but now we after the phone call like i said we got invited to an interview which is today we're going and before that we have to pay another fee 
which is $490. I think that's like a landing fee or something. Yeah. They also ask two pictures for passport from Fabio. And then... And then shortly, as soon as we get on the subway, I'm gonna show you guys all the documents I I'm bringing today. Okay guys, so Fabio's gonna show you the documents that we need to bring for today's interview. I'll just show you the pile of it. So, each binder corresponds to one year that I've been here. So this is quite a lot of stuff. Okay, you can see it probably from here. There's also Yanis jumping. And there's a lot, a lot of information. And every time I travel and I have to come back to Canada, I always bring everything with me because they never know what they ask me at immigration. Yes, so for me as the sponsor, I need to bring two pieces of ID, which is my passport, my driver's license, and another proof of living in the same place together. It's annoying, I know. The application that we did only applies if you have a family member here in Canada that will sponsor you to come to Canada. There are many different types of application. If you're looking for a certain ones, go check cic.gc.ontario or something. Just Google migrating to Canada and there's an official Canadian website. I will link it down below actually for your convenience. So yeah, check it out, whatever is needed. And all the paperwork and the application documents can be found online as well. Before we actually could finalize this application and got finally get this interview, the application came back four times. Four. I don't know what Canada wants from us. I don't know. Each single time they wanted something more. Something or there new. was a signature missing or there yes. was a date that was not right for them. And so we had to send it back for well, maybe times. some of it was our fault because some were a mistake. But yeah. So that's a great tip for you guys. If you're applying, make sure to read every single thing first before you hit submit. Yeah, and um, I, and I can tell you guys, the application is so hard to read because there's so many words that they use yes. that are not like very common in English so yes. they make it very big and, and difficult to understand yeah difficult difficult to understand so the best thing is to get a lawyer but since we got no money for that yes by the way we did not get a lawyer we are yeah. doing this on our own which is possible you can apply for any migrating document applications on your own. You don't necessarily need a lawyer like us. We don't have a lawyer. Yeah. It's uh, $7,000 if you want it's a lawyer. It's expensive. Lawyers in Canada are expensive. <laughs> um, if you are confused for their other requirements, there's a lot of online threads of people talking and giving tips and questions. So check that out as well. Yeah, that was very, very helpful. Google, because people that have been in your yes. process, they know better. Google is your best friend. Honestly, before involving Yanni in all this situation, I wanted to apply on my own for my own visa. But the hard problem with that was that I got denied. <laughs> yeah, I many didn't have times. A university degree. Yes. So because it's by points. When you come to Canada, it's by points. It's either you have university degree, what's your career, what are you coming here for? All yeah. That. So probably that um, was a major thing, and also. I, I guess I didn't meet other requirements, yes. which sounds very interesting to me. It's weird, but yeah. um, I guess they didn't want me here. So yeah. the only way at that point was to involve Yanni as well. Sponsorship. We were together for a while already, so yeah. we decided to go ahead. To be a common law in Canada, I think you have to be together for two years? For one year. One year. You have to live together in the same place for one year, and you have to be able to prove that through your bills. So if you're in a relationship right now, make sure to sign up for a joint bank account because that's a major, major thing. That's the thing that saved us. Yes. Because I'm not under the rent. Only yes. Yanni is and I pay Yanni. Yeah, and I we don't even have a lease or any mortgage, so we can't show we can't any of that. Anything. We can't prove anything. Because all the bills are under his yes, name and we, they pay him back. We don't have any assets. So what I did as well is we have a one pager. We wrote down every single thing they were asking and we have to explain every single thing why we don't have that, why we can't provide that. Yeah. So there's a lot. Yeah, Just make sure nightmare. comment down below if you're going through this as well. We are happy to help. We might FaceTime you too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm happy to do that because I know yeah, it's hard. hard it I know it's difficult. It's hard. But anyway, we're almost there to the interview. Arriving I... at Kipling. Kipling Station. Oh, that's our stop. We're here. 
So we went to the interview location an hour early because our friend told us that you just have to go get the number, line up, otherwise you have to be there for three hours because apparently there's a lot of people there as well. So it's better to go there early. Yes, and I'd rather be early than late because if you're late, basically in the email they said if you are late or don't show up, that means you do, you're not serious about staying in Canada. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> and you don't get a chance to get another interview. Honestly. Unless you send an email saying that you're sick and you prove that, then they'll give you a Honestly. different appointment. <laughs> and you have to make yourself available as well because when like, they gave you the date, they actually said, <laughs> they actually said, if you're not available on this day, I'm sorry, but that's it. Yes. So I'm like... Yes, for real. That's, honestly. That was it. Like, I have... To travel in the next couple of months imagine if, like what if it was oh my gosh thank god the stars aligned because i know i will free i will have freaked out same so imagine if you have a wedding on that day scheduled you better cancel your wedding you better tell your guests sorry we'll do it tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> and guess what guys the notice for the interview is two weeks two so weeks they gave us two weeks notice and then that was it so you really don't know because you're there waiting since September we yeah. did the application. September, now it's June. Yep. And then they give you two weeks. So if you're not available, <laughs> I'm sorry, you won't be able to get your PR card. So, so basically, if you want to apply for documents in Canada, especially PR, cancel everything. You, for a year. For, for a, a year, year. Cancel, don't plan any trips. Oh my gosh. Obviously, I was very lucky to have Yanni with me because uh, through him, I could apply for an open work permit, so be really free to work wherever I wanted, finally. And uh, He's not sponsored. And now maybe, <laughs> maybe PR. We'll see after this interview. He's not sponsored by Yanni. <laughs> he said but I have to say that if you want to come to Canada on your own and you don't know anyone, it is still possible. There's In a fact, lot of ways. before meeting Yanni, I applied for a work holiday visa. That's how it's called. And this particular visa, it's much easier to achieve, to obtain, and it's only $150 unless they increase the price in the past three years, which probably they did, let's be real. Wow. And that allows you to work in Canada for six months and stay, travel within Canada for another six months, so a year total, but you can only work for six and that's a great visa to start it off with and see if you like Canada or not because winters are brutal so I came in summer so I thought I loved the place but now I don't <laughs> so that's about it let's go to this interview let's get it done with <laughs> it's round one Here we are. good luck to me Hey guys, so we just got our number. We're now waiting at the waiting room. Um, it's not a bad wait. The number right now is D364 and we are D378, so it's like 10 people in front of us. So, and oh my god, literally, I don't know if I can film this. No, you cannot film Canada, this. Canada, if you see this, I'm sorry, but the interview is just like a back teller like there's a lot of windows open and people just go and to the to the window and like boots. yeah tiny boots okay guys we're not gonna film the interview process because we don't wanna we don't wanna fuck this up so we'll update you later guys we did it oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna scream by the crown because it's still an off Fabio is now a PR in Canada <laughs> yes I think guys I think I lost five years of my life because she asked me questions that I did not Stressful. know the answer. So that's that. That's finally it. It was, an, it was the easiest question, honestly. It was the uh, easiest questions. She didn't even ask about me. She didn't ask about a relationship. It was just about like, how like did you work? Do you have any children? Did you work around this time? Did you travel around this time? Yeah, she asked me if I worked in Canada before 2016 and I don't remember when I first came to Canada. I exactly. have no idea because I'm so bad in dates. And then she asked me when I traveled and I, I don't remember the dates either. We so. don't remember anything. But that's done. We're gonna go celebrate now. We're gonna go grab food. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, this is, is so exciting. Done. It is done. I am so stressed but so relieved. I was so stressed but now I'm so relieved. You have no idea. I have a headache. 
for I the know. stress that I was facing. Guys, this is actually, we, it's been a year almost it's applying a, for this. Uh, think about it, it's been a year, but if you think about the big picture, yes. it's since I came first came to Canada that I've been applying for visas, and now oh. finally this has happened. Yes. So now we're gonna go celebrate, we're gonna go eat, we're gonna tell you more about it at the restaurant. We're gonna go back to downtown core now because it's all the way outside yes. downtown. But we're so excited, finally came through, finally Canada came through. Finally, after yes. draining our bank accounts. <laughs> For real. And now, let me tell you, I'm gonna get so much wine, so many drinks, you have no idea. Yes, we're gonna have I fun tonight, celebrate. we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna go dancing, we're gonna go for a taco fest, which we're gonna do that separate vlog. So, anyway. Oh God. Exciting. Okay guys, we're here at the sushi and now we're gonna celebrate, we're gonna eat a lot of good food. Fabi's gonna order. I'm picking my drink. <laughs> Celebration <laughs> drink. So you order sushi here through the iPad. <gasps> Lichi martini they have. I'm gonna save my drinks later. So I ordered a dry martini because I feel very dry and very martini. <laughs> now Yanni's ordering food. Do you want to see with salad? We're ordering the whole restaurant. We're ordering the whole. Look, the martini is eight dollars. It's not that expensive. Oh, you thought it was fifteen? That's what we ordered. Many items. Twenty-three. Whole server. That's it's it. all you can eat. Whatever. Go. Mm -hmm. 